Hey everybody, Heather here from Fasco Health. Do you know that everybody hears voices in their heads? It's true, absolutely everybody. Uh, what, what we tend to think about is all of the stuff that is stuck in our subconscious. We have, I don't know, the, the numbers vary between 40,000 thoughts a day, 60,000, 80,000. We have a lot of thoughts every single day, a lot. And the majority of those thoughts are negative. I know, right? Like, it's, if you start thinking about it, it's, it's true. Like, when, when are, are you, like, thinking about doing something and this little voice in the back of your head goes, do you really want to do that? What if you look stupid? Um, maybe it's not safe. Why, why would you want to do that? Um, I, I, you're, they're going to laugh at you. Those kind of things, right? Like, I'm sure everybody's had that. What happens is from the very first time we start having experiences, very first time, our subconscious makes a decision about that experience. And it keeps it. It's logged there, moving forward. And some of those decisions, some of those beliefs that we form are good for us. They serve us, like don't touch a hot stove. That's not a good idea. And others of those are not good for us. The things like I'm stupid, um, I can't do it, it's too hard, nobody likes me, um, I'm all alone, uh, I'm not good enough, I'm not enough, I'm not lovable, all of those kind of things. Most of which forms when we're children. Between the ages of, well, from the beginning to about seven or eight, our brains actually um, function in what's called theta waves. Um, not that that really matters, but it's essentially, we don't have the capability to reject what's coming in during those young, those young years. And so everything we take in, we take in as truth and they, and they form these beliefs that stick with us. So, you know, a lot of times they're unintentional things that happen in our lives. The person that, you know, in the interaction with us where we form this negative thought weren't that wasn't their goal. They weren't trying to be mean. I mean, obviously there's some bad things that happen to people and that's a whole other story, but those form negative beliefs as well. But it can just be innocent things that we take on as truths about ourselves that are complete garbage. And the sad thing about it is that that ends up running our lives. Like, 95% of what we do every day is run by our subconscious and it's drawing from all of those beliefs that we have and um, it's crazy. It holds us back from what we want more of in life. It never ever gets us what we want and our minds are so, so, so powerful. They the stress and the negativity that we create in our own minds, it, it, our subconscious thinks it's keeping us safe because it, it senses when it gets triggered that we're in danger. And luckily, most of us, um, or a lot of us where, where I live, are not being chased by tigers and they're not at gunpoint all the time, but we can create that same kind of fear just in our own thoughts and what that does is it creates this stress response and these voices talk to us um, in our heads and, and tell us these things whether we recognize it or not these are happening and they drive how we walk through life they never ever lead us to doing things that we're proud of or that we're happy about and so in our program we work a lot with people on helping them find what these negative thoughts are that are there and that fire and then where that leads you to. It happens in my life. It'll happen in your life. And I love 
the aha moments of teaching people about this and giving them the tools to recognize when they're being triggered and when these little negative thoughts are being spoken to ourselves because once the pieces start coming together, it's like, oh my gosh, I totally see where in all of these instances of my life, that's what's happened. That's what's made me do, I don't know, start a fight or hide or shut down or blame other people. All of these things that we end up doing that don't serve us and don't get us what we want. And so we do a lot of, of work with that in our program, increasing awareness so that we can bring our brains back online when that stuff fires. So we can make a conscious decision to say, that's garbage, that's a lie, that is not the truth about me. The truth about me is that I'm awesome. I am worthy, I am deserving, I am loved, I am more than good enough, and I can do whatever I want. And so, I, like I said, I just love um, seeing the aha moments when we, we help people walk through this. It has been a huge aha in my own life learning this over the last um, five or six years and has totally turned how I deal with conflict around, how, I, how my relationships are. My relationships are so much closer. My success is so much greater. And I just feel much more peaceful and confident. And that's what we wanna to bring to you through our program. So thanks for joining me today. And um, our next program of FASCO Health starts up the beginning of April. Uh, actually the second week, April 9th and 10th. So if you're interested, reach out to us here on Facebook or on Instagram, Fasco Health, or email fascoinfo at gmail.com. And uh, we wanna hear from you and we hope to see it in our classes because we just love spreading information and, and just having discussions and seeing the aha moments. Thanks everyone, bye.